Right, it's now recording. Where'd that come from? Wait, that's the first one, that's the first one. Oh, come on. How loud are they? Good. Why are we, we not listening to that? Yeah. Go number three. Go on, my son. We should have took bets on it. I <laughs> should <laughs> There's mine. Yeah. I think I just cum my pants. That was mine. <laughs> I blew something up. Suspense. Man. <laughs> Have you seen my dog? Need him. Rop! Who's that one? Boom! No. <laughs> typical, typical oh, tip. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, the one that I had to light would be last. Is your one part? It didn't go off with the others. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, got it. Good. One board, I could see it. Oh, oh my god. There we go. Light. We blew something up. Just close hand, perfect. guys. I've got a question here. What's the lethal range? If you were stood by that and, you, and you've now all seen that explosion, what do you think that might have been if you're stood right next to it? Death. Last thing you've ever seen. Pro quite possibly. <coughs> That's why we come back here. Yeah. Right? If, if you wear a helmet and flat jacket, you can be 25 metres away. Mm. Right? If you're not, then you need to be further back. Um, because. The explosive content that you just handled is approximately the same size as a large anti-personnel mine. Right, so if you imagine stepping on that and that goes off as you step on it, it's going to take off the best part of your foot and the shrapnel will travel up you know, and do you damage. Magnify that, that's only, one, that's only 0.115 of a kilogram. Magnify that to 8 kilograms and that's the bar mines we use to um, make breaching holes in compounds like in Afghanistan, right? And that creates a massive bang, massive hole, massive headache for the Taliban. Yeah. And we have got explosives that come in different <coughs> shapes and sizes, and they're, they're surrounded by sometimes plastic, sometimes metal, and they're designed to do different things. Um, so depending on what we want to cut, whether it be wood, concrete, or steel, depends on how much we use, how we use it, um, and, and what sort of effect we're going to get from it. All right, so we don't. That is just a taster, really, for you just to appreciate the strength of explosive. But there's a lot more to it in our sort of portfolio, if you like, for um, really sort of damaging people's day if we want to. <laughs> Anyone got any questions on explosive stems? Anything in general? 